Hey y'all, she goes Stephanie's the Wrestling Color Podcast right here on YouTube. Thumbs up the video, subscribe, um, turn on the bell for notification, follow me on social medias, and hit me in the comments. I think I said everything. So let's talk uh, Lacey Evans real quick. Um, some people seem to be annoyed that she said wrestling was never her passion. I'm honestly not annoyed. Although I'm not a fan of Lacey, Macy, Australia, and how have you pronounce her name? I'm sorry, Estelia, Estelia, I, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Um, her views are very ignorant. She she gives off MAGA princess, and I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Um, before she left WWE, she was doing this Sergeant Slaughter thing, and it was real weird, and it was just a lot of weird shit going on, and they kept repackaging her. It's almost as if she she was carrying cross. Before Karrion Cross showed up in WWE with that crazy ass costume that he still is in recovery about. So, there are two articles I'm going to touch on with Lacey Evans and then we're going to wrap it up um, pretty quickly about her. Because I, I, I believe she has an OnlyFans now and she's showing her pussy bones. Um, she's also running some type of, uh, I want to say it's the bed and breakfast, and she's really diving into her philanthropic side with, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous and stuff, because she tried to share with us her awful upbringing, and you guys just was not biting. So, in this article from S.E. Scoops, Lacey Evans has no regret having a baby in the WWE run she shares with, uh, the original plans for Ric Flair. Originally, she was supposed to win that belt. And I wasn't... I mean, everybody's going to be floored. But who gives a fuck, right? Remember, uh, Nikki Ash won the WWE title. I might revisit Nikki Ash. Because where that woman went? Anyway, um, she wanted to have kids. I'm a mother myself. I'm not about to knock no woman that wants to have children. We have eggs that we're born with, and you can have kids in your 60s if you want. There's bitches out here giving birth. I just read a 72-year-old gave birth to twins, although that's nasty, in my opinion, because the babies probably came out looking like Yoda. Um, You got to get in where you fit in. WWE has a very demanding schedule. It's legendary. We understand these wrestlers have to pay for their own shit. They're on the road 300 days out the year. I think this year is the first time they're actually getting a whole week off for Christmas. Which, congratulations to them. Um, she wanted to have kids. She said she'd been with her man since she was 15. They've been together since they were 16. They got married in 19. And they always talk about how they want to have kids. And she knew the longer she waited, fucking around with the WWE, that she was not going to pop out these babies. People on the road who who got kids, fucking Carmella just gave birth. Fucking um, old girl. Oh my goodness, she just gave birth to a baby boy too. What's her What's her damn name? Y'all know who I'm talking about the tiny one, Five Feel the Fury. Oh my goodness, I can't remember her name. It'll pop up later. She just gave birth. The Iconics, both of them. One gave birth, the other one's pregnant. All these ladies are in their 30s, late late 20s. Those are optimal times to give birth if you ask me. I don't think being a young mother helps. I think the teens and the 20s and even your early 30s is a good time to see the world, enjoy yourself, and then settle down because you have more patience to have children. But that's neither here nor there. Um, She said, when I was in WWE... I thought, man, I'm really giving my husband the shitty end of the stick. He loves me and he supports me to the fullest, but where, where are all our babies at? Where's the sound of feet on our hardwood floors and the smell of bacon in the morning? Instead, we're on a plane at 3.30 in the morning headed out to, and I just thought, man. Um, she didn't want to freeze her eggs. She realized her biological clock was ticking. She already had a daughter, so she wanted, like I said, wanted to get this man some kids. Um, she said she went to Vince McMahon, and she talked to him about it. And I quote, I went to Vince, and he said, and I said, hey, sir, I'm not being used, and I want to have a baby. I won't if you plan on using me. 
I'll stand by and it's COVID. I'm not being used and it's COVID. He kind of got quiet and he says, go have a baby. And I made sure because that man, that man is fucking awesome. He has done a lot for me and my family. She's talking about Vince. And I just, I was ve just very thankful to be in that room having that discussion and having that opportunity. That was the game plan. I wasn't being used. And the next thing you know, talent creative say, oh, you're going to be with Ric Flair and Sean. And I'm like, what the fuck? Well, I'll be damned. That week before I'm supposed to get the title, I have my baby. And it was the best feeling in the world that my husband now has another child. He's going to hold his arms in nine months. And y'all remember how that ended. She, her and Rick uh, was supposed to be fucking. She got pregnant. And I guess she was going to be Charlotte's stepmama. And they had to get her on up out of there. She wanted to say, a, pe a lot of people say I ruined my career and this and that. But this morning I woke up and saw that little shit looking at me with a big smile on her face. And my husband waking up. You can't tell me I ruined anything. I got exactly what I wanted. And I'm not going to knock Macy Australia on her wanting to give half kids and have a family. I'm not going to knock that. Um, I do want to see when people who are married like Bianca Belair and Trinity Fatu. These ladies are married. They're in their 30s. They're in their mid-30s. Like, when will they say oh I want a kid or maybe they don't want kids because both Trinity and Bianca's husband have two kids between the two of them so they already got kids so maybe they don't want kids and that's fine but if they decide they want kids and you going by the biological clock you got to get in where you fit in Becky Lynch went and had kids um Alexa Bliss who is one of the top a, 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 a WWE stars stepped away to go have kids with her husband. So I don't know why it's always a career ruining event for a woman to give birth and it's not for a man. It's really bizarre and this is just the, I guess just what comes with the fucking territory. Being a woman and wanting to be in that role and that position to have a family and do it all. Um, Taya Mello. She just had kids. Kelly Kelly. Although she's retired. Has some kids. And Kelly Kelly. You know she beautiful. That's a pretty woman. She still look good. Has some kids. Um, I told you both the Iconics. So these women want to. And, and um, what's her name is back. Wrestling over in Australia. Uh the other, the other half of the Iconics, um, Peyton Royce. So, it, it, it begs the question to women who want to have it all and people telling them that their career is over. You're ruining your career. The, the, what are you doing? We have to make decisions. Men don't. Becky Lynch had a kid. She had to leave for a year. Seth Rollins didn't have to do that. You know? And then Becky was able to fall right back into her role as the man because it's a, uh, still it although it could be campy it's still a mature role you can still be mature and be a mother in that role i wonder when alexa bliss comes back what would be her role now that you're a mother you have mother are you still wearing pigtails and swinging on a playground i i would i would like to explore that what would be her character when she does return carmella when she returns is she still First of all, Carmella need to get with um the other half of that tag team, Chelsea Green. When she get back, her and Chelsea need to pair up. That right there is money. If they talk about them two was pairing up, then she got knocked up. Them two need to pair up because um, Piper never ain't giving what it's supposed to give. Anyway, um, in the next little segment here on Lacey, she went on to say, um, essentially, that's not what she wanted to do it wasn't her passion she don't miss it at all um she wasn't fired her contract just expired and she quietly was removed to alumni section just just no longer came back to wwe she doesn't miss it she says she got a lot of offers she worked with uh, wwe for seven years i actually think they called her up from nxt a little bit too early but again vince mcmahon will call up the people that he deems sexy and that he's attracted to
I always said that he was bisexual because not only does he look at women he want to fuck, he also looks at the sex appeal of the males, which is fine. Which is fine. That's how Roman Reigns got called up. And he is enamored with Roman Reigns. That's that's why Roman Reigns had to go through what he had to go through. Because Vince McMahon thinks he's a beautiful man. And we all agree with Vince. Um, she always just looked forward to coming home. Her family traveled with her. She said, uh, I went for the most part. And it was a struggle. Because when I got signed to WWE, I was a mom. She was already a mother with the, with the young girl. Who's her older daughter now and a wife. And, you know, she wanted to get out there and get that, um, make that man have a family. She said now that she's not on the road, she doesn't miss it. She did a big group for outreach for Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, things that I get to do now and the difference I get to make to me is more rewarding. Since August 16th, that's when she was released, uh, she questioned if what she's doing is the right thing to do and she said it is she said do you want me to lie no there's not some people they wake up put on six inch stilettos and 10 pounds of makeup and their extensions and they go to walk and the red carpet and they feel amazing and i'm not those people and it's very difficult for me to put that on put that on front so she's not gonna she's not willing to front for y'all and fuck around she got an experience that a majority of people will never experience she is thankful and grateful. She did say that. But this is where she wants to be. And I respect her for that. I will say that. I respect her decision. And I'm not going to tear the woman down. Um, I would even say Charlotte. I forgot Charlotte's married. Latino men love them some kids. They like to have a lot. So I wonder if her and Andrade had that conversation about if they're going to have kids. If that's even an option. So... Women have a lot on their plate because they're fighting to be seen in wrestling and they're fighting to have people in society respect their choices when it comes to their bodies and what they want to do. And to have a baby and someone tell you, oh, well, you're ruining your career and you're going to fall out of favor and whoop the whoop the whoop. It is disheartening. So, again, I'm not going to knock anybody that wants to have children, have a husband, have a life, and do all things because you can. You can do all of it if you want. You just got to know how to balance it. This is Wrestling Color Podcast. I'll see you on the next one.